One of the first thing that we start each project with is defining property lines. Property lines are boundaries that determine where property begins and ends. It is important to accurately depict them in order to plan construction and build a structure and landscaping accordingly. Now, let's see how we can create them in Revit. This is a site plan that I download from internet just to use the numbers and distances. Now, to create property lines, we need to go to Massing and Site tab. In Model Site panel, we can see the property line tool. If you click on it, you will have two options. One of them is to create by entering distances and bearing, and the other one is for just sketching them. We're going to go with the first method. And in here, we're going to enter the data. Let's start with this line. For distance, I'm going to insert 208. 0.92 in this part you need to select between north or south in here we can see that it is south so i'm going to select s and then we need to enter the bearing so it is 35 31 and 28 and after that we have the east or west in here we have the west so i'm going to switch to w for type, since this is just a line, I'm going to select line, but for this one, we are going to select the art and I'm going to explain everything about it. And that's all for this line. Now, I'm going to insert another one, another row in here to add the other line, this one. So the distance is 150. Then we have the north in here. And for the bearing, I'm going to enter 72, 46. And then we have the east. Now that we have two lines, I'm going to click OK. So we can see how they look like next to each other. I found this way less confusing. When you have a lot of different lines, this way is better to like set them next to each other. This line should be over here, so I'm going to go to edit table and then I'm going to move it up so we have the correct orientation. Yes, this is better. And then I'm going to go to edit table again and insert another one. I'm going to move this one up and then I'm going to enter the information of this line. So the distance is 114. Then we have the north for the bearing. I'm going to enter only 4 degree, 45, and then 44. And then we have the east. This is also a line, so we're going to leave type like this. And then for the next one, I'm going to move it up to here. And this is a curve. We don't have enough information. We don't have the distance for this line. So this is only the length. So you should consider some inaccuracy in this part. I'm going to show you how you can fix it. But for now, I'm going to enter the length. This one for the distance, which is 3362. And then we don't have any bearing again. But for type, I'm going to enter arc. And for radius, which we have in here, I'm going to enter 63. And OK. The bearing in here is 0. But since this line is closer to 90 degree, I think we can switch this to 90. And let's see how it looks. OK, just go back to edit table and switch this to west. Now, I think this is the most accurate way we can have a property line based on only this image and this information. But I think we can make it way more better. So to fix this part, because all of these parts are correct, we are going to just fix this part. We need bearing for here, but since we don't have it, we're going to create it manually. So let's go to annotate tab and in detail line, I'm going to create a circle with 63 radius and then I'm going to move it exactly to this point. Now if we go back to massing and side and create another property line but this time we create by sketching it will be much better and more accurate. So we can use all of these lines, we can use all of their information and also we can have this curve again. I'm going to use pick line and I'm going to click on all of these lines and also this one 
and then I'm going to trim them together like this and if we finish we can have a much better property line like this I'm going to delete these parts now that we have all of these lines in here we are going to add the rest of the information we need to have these distances and bearing in Revit 2. So for this, we are going to use a property line segment tag. But since we don't have such tag in Revit already, we're going to create it ourselves. So for creating tags, you need to go to file and create a new family. Go to annotation and use this generic tag. I'm going to delete this one and first we need to go to this family category and parameter because first thing we need to choose the category we need to define what this tag is for so in this part i'm going to search for property line segment tag this one and then i'm going to just simply click on ok now it's time for creating the label it's time for creating the parameters Go to create and click on this label and then click in here so you can see the edit label in here we have a lot of different information we have bearing we have distance we have east west we have the family name left and right north south we have the radius and all of these things first i'm going to insert the distance in here and then i'm going to click on ok if you want to change the unit of this distance you can click on this part and then select the unit that you want to see in your project i'm going to leave it like this for now and ok now the distance is in here you can either set it below this line maybe in here and then you know, create the bearing on top of it or you can just simply put it in this part and the bearing next to it i'm going to move this down to here and then i'm going to put bearing on top of it for the bearing we are going to create another label click on here and then import the bearing to this part now if you remember we had two signs before and after bearing we need to have the east and west and also the north and south so i'm going to enter these two to this part two and then i'm going to move this one up with this icon in here and this will be the bearing part i'm going to insert a space in both sides of the bearing so we have them perfectly next to each other and then i'm going to click on ok now i'm going to move this down to here now let's select one of them and go to edit type and in here i'm going to set the background on transparent so we can see behind these text too if you want to change the color you can change it from here also if you want to change the font and size you can change them from these parts and ok now before loading this tag into the project i'm going to go to properties section and in here we have an option that says rotate with component if you go back you can see that these lines are not straight and they are rotated so if we create a tag without checking this option the tag is not going to be aligned with these lines and now we can load it into the project to add tags you need to go to annotate section and tag by category now if you hover your mouse over one of these lines you can see something like this you can see the bearing and also the distance i don't want to have this uh, leader in here so i'm going to uncheck this part and then i'm going to simply click on here and this will be our tag let me make it a little bit bigger now the next one will be in here the other one is in this part and this one will be here now we have the bearing and also we have the distance but we don't have any radius for this part so if you want to add it you need to go back to the tag section and below this one you can create another label let's create one in here and then you can just simply add the radius to this part too. Click on OK. And then I'm going to set it exactly below this distance. 
I'm going to save this tag with another name and then I'm going to load it into the project. So we have two different type of tag for property line segment and one of them will be only with distance and the other one will be with distance and radius. These are two things that we need for creating the property lines. For the second tag, since we have two different values, two different numbers in here, it will be hard to recognize which one is which. So to make it better, to make it understandable, I'm going to go to this edit label in here and for its prefix, I'm going to add a D equal. So in this part, we have the value and in here we have the distance and okay. For the radius, I'm going to do the same with R and this equal sign and then I'm going to save it as another family and then I'm going to load it again into the project. Now I'm going to delete this tag and let's go back to annotate tag by category and then if I click on here we have the distance, we have the radius and also we have the bearing. Well this was everything you need to know about property lines. If you are working on a project and you want to know about the next steps Make sure to watch this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon.